the major differences between TIFOV and the Biennale is first of all the size. TIFOV is over 30,000 square meters, which is about six football fields. So it's a huge fair. Uh, another difference is that TIFOV is divided into sections because there are 239 exhibitors, so that's more than the Biennale. Uh, people um, might find difficulties to find their way around. That's why we have a painting section, modern art section, a design section, and a works of art section. And then in that works of art section, we have La Haute Joyerie du Monde, uh, manuscripts and antiquities such as Greek, Roman and Egyptian art as separate entities. And another difference probably is that uh, Tifov um, became really famous because of its old master paintings. And that is still the case. It is, uh, it is a general art and antique sphere uh, with modern art and old master paintings being both about a quarter of the fair and the works of art section being about half of the fair. Uh, but its fame came from the old master paintings and nowadays it's still about 70% of all works of art for sale in the art market globally that will be here during these 11 days of TIFOV. We can tell nowadays, uh, due to the economic turn, downturn, that uh, people tend to, um, to choose safe uh, investments. And at this moment, uh, art seems to be a more safe investment than stocks and bonds or putting your money in the bank and you don't get any interest. Uh, whereas art, uh, well, it, it also gives you pleasure. And that's also very important in, in periods where it's, it's all about crisis and sad things. I don't think it will come to an end. Uh, I think it still has a function, uh, being uh, creating the image of the dealer. Because if he would only participate at fairs and not have his own gallery, it's quite difficult, in my opinion, to follow up to his clients he met at these art fairs. But I certainly see uh, a shift in emphasis, uh, art fairs becoming more and more their tool of meeting new clients, and internet becoming more and more their communication tool. When you talk about the upcoming two years in the, in the art market, we have seen from recent research uh, on the global art market that there is hardly any relationship between uh, the economic uh, situation and the development of the art markets. Um, prices of the, the more traditional arts like old master paintings and like works of art, jewelry, they have been quite stable over the years. Although we had uh, a, a huge economic uprise during the past few years, um, they still are quite stable and I expect them to, to be stable in two years time as well. Whereas other parts of the art market that have been much more volatile due to uh, hypes, to fashion, uh, they might be more affected, uh, either because uh, people feel less insecure, because the prices fluctuate much more, or because um, there is a group of buyers that lost a lot of money that was specifically interested in, for example, high-end contemporary art, and that will now uh, need to, to just um, uh, step aside from the art market, not invest anymore or invest less than they did in the past.